record. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> no, we've already started and in typical Amber style, she didn't record until somebody, I don't know who it was, um, so <laughs> reminded her. So we have had our morning chat and we're just about to get started with our presentation. So let's go for it. Okay, so today we're talking about mindset. What is it and why is it so important? It's a term for how you naturally think about life, including how you see yourself, your abilities, and what you can achieve. So um, there are two sets of mindset, fixed mindset and growth mindset. And in our business, I, I don't believe you're going to succeed if you have a fixed mindset, and we'll go through what those are. But basically, it's about how you view yourself, I guess, how, how you view your life, uh, how you view what you think you deserve in your life, um, you know, how you view your past, whether or not you continue to let that affect your future, um, what you can achieve, what you deserve, um, you know, your abilities and your knowledge and all that sort of thing. And the fixed mindset is that you, you believe one thing and you don't believe that that can change in the future. So, you know, for example, if you are... Uh, let me give an example. If you work as a service attendant at a service station, but your life dream has always to be a dentist, for example, um, but you don't do anything about it because you don't actually believe that that's achievable for you, then you'll never achieve that dream. So it is all about mindset and it's about just doing, you know, the tiny little steps to get you started and, and then continuing to move forward. So the fixed mindset, fixed mindset people, avoid challenges where you think you might stuff up. And that's probably a little bit of all of us, I think. Not deal very well with setbacks. So I, this used to be me. This, this was me through and through. So if something happened to me, I would dwell on it for days or weeks. If I said the wrong thing to somebody and, you know, they looked at me a bit funny, I would, I would just think about that and you know, obsess over that for days. Oh my gosh, you know, did I upset them? Did I hurt their feelings? Do they not like me anymore? That sort of thing. Um, you try to hide your mistakes. Be convinced that your abilities are limited to one area. So that example that I gave before. Um, for example, believing that you're a creative type or an athletic type and you can't go outside of that box. You practice negative self-talk by saying things like, I can't do it. And, you know, being a fixed mindset and a growth mindset, you can always sort of, um, you can be in the middle and you can, you can float around. You don't always have to be one and then always have to be the other. It's, it's a process. So let's talk about a, a little bit more about the growth mindset. So people with a growth mindset are keen to learn from people around you. You want more than what you've currently got. I believe that that's every single one of us on the call this morning. If we didn't want more than what we've currently got, if we didn't want to improve our life, then we wouldn't be here this morning. Understand that in order to get what you want, you have to put in the work and recognise that failure is an opportunity to learn. And I think that last point there comes back to we're too hard on ourselves. You know, if we fail, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so crap. But it's not that at all. It's okay, I failed, it didn't work. What can I take away from that? to use the next time so that I don't fail or maybe don't fail as severely. So you can develop a growth mindset. Next time you do something awesome, big or small, celebrate it. And that's what we're going to do on our call tonight. We're going to celebrate it. Um, you know, I believe that you guys have done massive, massive things this week and the commitment that you've shown to getting on the calls and doing the challenges has been absolutely brilliant. So tonight we're going to celebrate. Recognise that everyone makes mistakes, learn from them and move on. Um, who was I talking to the other day? I think it was one of you guys. So if it was you, pop it in the little chat box. Um, you know, somebody was talking to, oh no, it was, um, it was Peter on the call. And he said he was talking to Aaron and Aaron had said to him, you know, the only difference between me and you is that I've made more mistakes than you. 
because he's done it for longer and he's tried it for longer. So he's made more mistakes, but he's learned from them and moved on. Be aware of your weaknesses and focus on improving them. And I think this is a huge part. And this um, may have come to light for you in our affirmation challenge yesterday. So thinking of affirmations and the areas that we want to improve on um, is a really good way to actually be aware of what they are. Welcome new challenges. Be open to new things and new ways of learning and be hungry to learn and improve just a little bit every single day. If you improve in something just 1% every day, you'll be 100% better at it in a year's time. And if you sit down and you think about that, you think, okay, if I make one, two, three, four, five calls a day to talk to people about our products or our opportunity, I'm going to get so much better. And in a year's time, I'm going to be awesome at it. You've just got to be consistent and you've got to learn and you've got to, I mean, you can, you can train yourself. You can do your calls and then sit there and think, okay, what did I say that I shouldn't have or what didn't I say that I should have? And learn from that and, you know, do it a better way the next time. Excuse me for yawning. I'm struggling this morning. Okay. A massive way of going from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset is to challenge your negative thinking. If you think you can't do something, chances are you won't. So if you tell yourself that you can, chances are you will, or you'll take small steps towards doing that. Self-talk is the most powerful way we can change our thinking and our actions accordingly. Hence the reason successful people use affirmations. Because that inner voice, if, I mean, say it out loud, say it out loud, saying those affirmations out loud is, is more um, effective than saying them in your head. But even if you want to work your way up to that, saying them in your own head is still very, very powerful. Accept challenges. Next time you're challenged to do something and you don't think you can do, just accept the challenge. Just say yes. Face it head on and tell yourself you actually can do it. Um, example of this is Katrina last night. You know, I gave her not very much notice to um, chat to us last night on the call. And from my end, there was no hesitation from her at all. You know, there may have been in, in her house, you know, in, her going, oh, I don't know. But she said yes straight away. And, um, you know, saying yes straight away to something that has had such a big impact on you previously, Katrina, just proves that you've got the right mindset to go forward in this business. And don't overthink it. Massive, 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 massive mistake. And this was, this was me. You know, I would overthink everything and work myself into, into such a state that it just wouldn't happen. And it's the same with calls. If you sit down and you think, you overthink it, you're going to start thinking about, you know, what this person can say to you and, you know, what if it goes wrong or what if this and what if that. If you don't sit down and think that and you just do it, it's going to be so much better for you. You're not going to have all those negative thoughts. Or what if you sat down um, and you thought, this is going to be awesome. This person's going to say everything I want them to say and it's going to be absolutely brilliant. And even if they are not interested in what I'm offering, you know, we're going to have a really good conversation and we're going to, we, I'm going to come out of it in a positive way. You know, you've got to, Turn those negative thoughts around to positive thoughts and see what it does for you. You know, do a little experiment. Put in the hard work. Just like anything worthwhile, changing your mindset takes work. And it does. Work on your mindset daily with affirmations, conscious thought. So changing your negative to positive. Cognitive behaviour therapy. So when you find yourself doing something that you want to change, something negative, Stop yourself. Say, no, nope, stop. I'm not doing that. And put something else in place, in, in, in place of that negative behaviour or negative thought. Visualisations. This, this can work in so many different areas of your life. But like I said to you, if you sit down and you're about to do some calls, view yourself. So, you know, almost, so close your eyes and, you know, view yourself as almost 
looking at yourself and exactly what you're going to say, exactly what the other person's going to say and, and make it really positive. And then I guarantee you'll come out of that a little bit more um, prepared to do your calls. And change your words. Change the words that you use every single day because you do attract what you put out there. If you say, oh, it's too hard, this is too hard, it will be. And, that, and if you say that to even one person, it's too hard, you know, that inner voice of yours takes that in and the next time you're talking to yourself, you say to yourself, oh, it's too hard. And no one's going to do any action if you believe that it's too hard, 100%. If you say bad things always happen in my life, then more bad things probably will happen. You know, um, I was listening to something the other day when they said um, that their um, child was misbehaving at school and always getting into trouble. And so they, you know, they, every time a friend would ask them how they are, they'd say, oh, you know, I'm not great. My son's always at trouble at school and he's getting suspended and, you know, it's just never ending. Well, that's probably going to continue if that's the mindset that you have. Make a commitment today to only speak positive words. Um, and this is something that I'm actually working with my husband on. I haven't actually told him that I'm working with, on this with him, but um, I'm trying to help him because it could be the slightest thing. Um, you know, maybe hanging a picture on a wall he will always think of the problems to doing that task instead of actually either just doing it or thinking of solutions. So last night I said to him, you know, remember we still have to paint Ava's ceiling. So we've done patents, but we still have to paint Ava's. And his response was, oh, yes, but you've got to put the drop sheet down and you've got to move the furniture and you've got to do this and you've got to do that. And I just looked at him and went, you do that every time you paint. That's not a roadblock. That's not an issue. You just do it. So you just get the drop sheet out. You just get the paint out. You just get the brushes out. You just get the roller out and you just do it. Because if you sit down there and you think, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to do this first, you'll never get off your bum and it'll be another four years before the ceiling's painted. And, you know, that, that's a small example, but he does that a lot. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll say to him, um, are you going to get up early and go for a run tomorrow? Possibly. That's his answer. Possibly. No. Are you or are you not? Yes or no? There's no in between. You've got to set those intentions. Okay, recommended reading. I came across a recording of a book called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson and I came across this by total mistake and oh my God, this book spoke to me from the get-go and it is all about retraining your brain and it's giving you little tips and tricks about how you can get ahead of yourself, how you can get ahead of your negative thoughts, how you can get ahead of you know, other people even who um, you know, have that sort of stagnant, um, growth, uh, stagnant mindset. It's available as a downloadable audio or a PDF and I'm going to post the PDF link um, in our group so you can actually have the book. It's just free on the internet. I actually listen to this every single time I drive to Adelaide for a live event. So if I'm, my, if I'm on my own, I will pop this on and I will listen to it. And I, I tell you, Sometimes I sit there and I'm banging the steering wheel and I'm going, yes, oh my God, it's so simple, yes. So the whole philosophy about this is mindset. And what they say is there are simple disciplines in life and there are simple errors in judgment in life. And both of those are really simple to do. If you make simple disciplines consistently, then you're proven to succeed a huge amount more than if you do choose your simple errors in judgment because your simple errors in judgment are they're either going to keep you exactly where you are or lead to massive failure okay so the slight edge philosophy is all about attitude and mindset 
which then leads into action, which then leads into results, which then equals your goals. Okay, so like this little picture says, whether or not your goals relate to finances, health, business, personal development or relationships, this philosophy and the actions that you do that stem from that philosophy will, if you do them, will lead to success. Okay, and, you know, we always talk about doing what makes you uncomfortable and stepping outside of your comfort zone and the magic only happens outside of your comfort zone. And this is, this is the philosophy that does surround that as well. So if, if it's a bit confusing now, let's, let's put it into a practical example. Okay, so say you've set yourself a goal of doing really small amount of calls a day. So say two calls every weekday, okay? So that's what, 10 calls a week, which is not a huge amount. You can choose to do them or you can choose not to do them. And either of those choices are easy, okay? So choosing not to do the calls is easy. Not doing them is easy because you get distracted with this or you get distracted with that or you let your negative thoughts take over and you don't do them. So not doing those is called a simple error in judgment. And if you make that time and time again, you're not going to go anywhere. But also doing them, doing those two calls a day is easy to do. I'm not saying it's not scary. I'm not saying it's not putting yourself out there. But it's not hard. You know, it's easy. It's easy to pick up the phone, dial a number and blurt out anything in your head. Okay, so the simple discipline that you do consistently over time is also very easy and it will lead you to success. So I really recommend that you guys have a look at the PDF or listen to the recording while you're cleaning the toilet, Wendy. <laughs> um, I know how much you like to listen to things while you do your housework. So yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> so the simple disciplines, um, you know, always relate to responsibility. Um, they're value-driven. They're going to get you to where you want to go. Whereas simple errors in judgment, you know, you're going to blame, blame somebody else. Oh, you know, the kids were too naughty or um, a friend of mine wanted to go out for lunch so I couldn't do my calls or neglect. You just simply don't do them. So I hope um, that makes sense. I hope I have explained it well and given, given it the credit that it's due because it's such a simple thing and I think the reason that I sit there and I'm just like, yes, exactly, exactly, Jeff, you know. I think the reason that I say that is because it's almost common sense. Um, but I think over time, you know, I think it's more natural for us as we grow older to think negatively of ourselves and negatively of our abilities. Um, and so, you know, those thoughts are years and years and years of worth of those negative thoughts in our head and we need to change those around whereas you look at kids and they just go and do stuff you know then they, they don't go oh I don't think I can you know they just they just go for it it's almost got like a no fear um attitude and I think that that's what we need to do to succeed you just have to have a no fear attitude or feel the fear but do it anyway as they say um, and I just, I, I really recommend that you listen to this audio um, or get the PDF. Okay, enough about that. Let's get on to today's challenges. Surprise, surprise, let's do another Facebook Live. So today, do it on whatever you like, but also schedule them into your calendar for next week and the week after and the week after and the week after. Um, I recommend three per week minimum just to keep that challenge fresh in your head. Um, to get you used to doing them, to make it almost a habit for you, and to get you really comfortable with it. So schedule them into your calendar. What day are you going to do them? What time are you going to do them? Um, I gave you those Facebook times that are really beneficial. So the 8 p.m. time slot is really good for uh, Facebook Lives. The 1 o'clock will get you, um, I think that was the most likes, and then the 3 p.m. will get you the most shares. Um, 
and you know but an early morning one is good too I guarantee you most of the population check Facebook before they leave for work okay so do another Facebook live today and keep going be consistent and be regular with those this might be a challenging one for some of you but I think it's really important um, call your upline leader and tell them how committed you are to making your business work and ask them to work with you to plan your next rank advancement and check in with them weekly all right so just be really open with your upline leader and say look I'm committed to doing this but I would love your help I would like you to help me plan how to get to Jade Pearl Sapphire I need your help to help me plan that what do I need to do um, etc and is it okay if I call you every week to talk about how I'm going I would love if one of my downline did this you know taking that initiative asking for help asking for guidance on how to get get to that next level and you know I, if you've got a good upline they'd be more than happy to do that with you if your immediate upline isn't that open to that go to the next one you know you, you need to work with the people that you're comfortable with as well be proud of yourself for being in the minority and committing to this week's business booster high five and because of that you can reward yourself tonight so I'm gonna be having a drinky poo and I'm gonna be having a big sleep in tomorrow so have a think about what you're gonna do I'd love you to share that on Facebook tonight um, you know go out and buy yourself from something from you know some piece of jewelry or um, whatever it might be whatever you're into get a massage um, whatever you want so today our standard message go out there and be awesome my voice is going okay so I'm going to stop sharing this now and I'm going to unmute everybody and ask what you think about um, what I've had to say today well, everything you just said there on that last screen has pretty much been spot on. Mm -hmm. I already had a chat with Beck last yeah, night, a couple of other people. I've already had like five messages this morning. Um, so, yeah, I think a lot of us tend to get on Facebook while the kids are still waking up. So that was pretty spot on, Amber. Awesome. Thanks, Katrina. That's really good. Um, you beat you beat me to the challenges already. <laughs> yeah, pretty much done. <laughs> I am. Um, I think love the mindset one. The mindset stuff's brilliant. That's um, so, so me in so many ways at certain times. So yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Seth. I think it's something that we always need to be consistently. And continuously working on the mindset. When you say that doing two calls is actually easy, it does make you go, "Well, yeah, what the hell have I been doing?" You know, of course mm. I can do two calls today. So yeah. when it, it's put in a certain way, then it just makes some more sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, agree. Definitely agree with you there. Carolyn. I was going to say the um, the description I you know the description you gave around the fixed and the growth mindset is um, is um, I mean I, I thought you, you a, a great um, a, a great summary um, Amber but it's something that that's playing out at the moment and actually has me feeling really reluctant to do a Facebook live today I I did one yesterday. Um, it wasn't it wasn't a great one, but it was. Um, I was just saying that I we've got a school a school reunion this weekend, and I I was basically just saying to the, the group how much I was looking forward to the reunion. That I haven't you know it's thirty three years disconnected from people, and and that although <clears throat> although I haven't maintained contact, that it's all those experiences etc. that have built the foundations for who who I am now. And then <clears throat> last night, someone through a closed Facebook group from school. Um, started doing a rant about bullying and you know I I was bullied at school and this happened every day and blah 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 and um, I'll be there on Saturday night and so will she and I'm just thinking crap 
Um, this is, there's stuff, so she's obviously in that fixed mindset, very victim mentality. Um, I've got no idea what the circumstances are, but I, it makes me very reluctant to put anything out to, to a group that um, I don't know what's going on in the background. Um, and I, I think I hit a, a bit of a, because her post came out very soon after my, my video. So I think because, and I was bullied at school, but I think because my recollection and, and I've moved on and are using, you know, I, I, I guess what I see is the circumstances of, um, or I was going to say, was I bullied at school or was it just the way that things were then where, um, where um, you know, you just, you know, now you just get on and do things and you're independent and you know, you know that there's particular attributes that that creates. But um, yeah, anyway, so that's, so I'm just reflecting on what you're thinking, but still thinking, crap, I don't want to, until I actually see, because the way she was wording this, I'm thinking, is there going to be a punch up tomorrow night or what <laughs> is going on here? Yeah. And it's something I'm really looking forward to, but I just don't know what's going on. And I was planning on talking around um, either either fear and how much we can be driven by fear, obviously not something to do today, or teachability, you know, how coachable or teachable are we? And I'm thinking neither of those things that I am comfortable in putting out there at all because I just don't know what is going on in the background. Yeah, fair enough. And you don't you don't want to obviously I don't aggravate something. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Do you know what? Do a post on exercise and how important exercise is on your day. Completely irrelevant to what's yeah. going on in that group. Yep. Yeah. 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 And good luck. Well, that, I hope there's yeah, no time <laughs> Well, I, was, I wake up this morning, I'm thinking, was there something I ever did or something I ever said or what? And she's got me really paranoid. No. So anyway. You would know. So, you would know yeah. within yourself if she was talking anything about you. Uh, anyway. But, but your mindset pieces, uh, <clears throat> as I said, they hit high. So oh. I'll, I'll keep... I'll keep, um, I, I need to build up my courage. So what do they say? If you feel the fear and do it anyway. So yes. that's the, um, yep. so oh. I just need to, I need to work out how I can not inflame. So we, we had the fried rice for lunch. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, I would like fried rice for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Fred. <laughs> 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 Sneaky little unmute there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, um, Emma, I thought that was really, really great. Um, I've done a little bit on fixed and growth mindsets before, but I'm looking forward to having a look at um, that PDF or listening to that audio. Um, I'll always take a new perspective on that kind of thing. Um, I'm also in the same boat as Katrina. I actually chatted to my upline last night and have already touched base again this morning. We have a plan kind of set up every week. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to be touching base a lot next week with a few things that are going on, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that audio I'm looking forward to heaps. Yeah, beautiful. It is really amazing. I'd love to get your thoughts on that tonight. Um, but something, I think touching base with your upline, you know, is, it keeps you accountable. It keeps you active. Um, even if you ring them and you go, look, I really dropped the ball this week. I'm not making excuses, but I, I just, I just really dropped the ball and I've got no one else to blame but myself, but that's the reality of it. Um, and I'm going to get back on. I didn't do what I said I'd do this week, but I'm, I'm going to do that the coming week. And I guarantee they'll respect that. And I guarantee you they've been there as well. So don't be afraid to say that. You don't, have, you know, you don't have to say, oh, I couldn't do it because, you know, um, well, my week this week, school fundraising and we've got the show and, you know, I'm so time poor, I just couldn't do any genesis. Um, just, just own it and just say, look, things happen and I couldn't do it and that's, that's on me. Um, but I'm going to step up and I'm going to really go for it. This week. Okay, anybody else got anything to add or should we say good morning and go out and be awesome for the day? <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. It was awesome. You're awesome. You're quiet this morning. Yeah, soon. thank you, Amber. I am quiet. I'm Amber. very tired. Very tired? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you're doing a lot this week. You're playing nurse as well. So, you know. <laughs> 
Well, I love you all. Go out and be awesome. And we shall celebrate our awesomeness tonight. Thanks. Thanks. See you all. Bye-bye. Bye, Thanks, everybody. Have a great Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.